Would you believe this is Tanzania? When you think of mainland Tanzania, I'm willing to bet that images of incredible wildlife come to mind, or perhaps the colourful tribes that call Tanzania home. But what if I told you there was a secret oasis hidden within Tanzania's arid scrublands, where crystal clear warm waters are surrounded by lush palm trees? I'm on a mission to find and explore one of Tanzania's hidden gems, known as Chemka Hot Springs, which is located just outside the city of Arusha. But I have to get there first. My journey starts hundreds of kilometers away, in the world famous Serengeti National Park. The drive takes us most of the day, but it's not without its excitement. We are surprised to witness a camel crossing. I honestly didn't expect to see camels here. And as we approach Russia, we are gifted with stunning views of Mount Maru, a dormant volcano and the fifth highest peak in Africa. By the time we reach Russia, evening is pretty much upon us. We decide to stop here for the night. Oh, this looks lovely. Oh, it's very nice. Oh, we've got complimentary biscuits. Look at that, Lewis. Oh, wow. <laughs> that might scare you in the night. Yeah. But look at this. Look how cute. They've put little Paul and Billy here flowers on the bed. And then we have a lovely view outside. And then we've got a spare blanket. And in here, this is the bathroom. I'm really excited about this because we have a bathtub. I haven't had a bath in ages. I've just been having showers, but I do like a bath. Oh my god, they do look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Oh, so cute. And then, the toilet. Oh, I just look at those petals on everything. After settling into our room, we make our way down to dinner. We enjoy some soup for starter, alongside some Kilimanjaro beer, and then enjoy a buffet main course, which is delicious. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Belly's full, we head back to our room. Okay, I was just discussing um, how to get the fire lit with one of the, um, the guys here, and then we just had this terrible crash over here. And do tell us what happened? <laughs> so I wanted to put the suitcase along here. There's no shelf here, so I thought I could stash the blanket up there. Yeah. So I put the blanket in there. And these are metal coats. <laughs> <laughs> It disturbed one of the kids. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but it was just because everyone was there. <laughs> everyone was there. <laughs> and then you just caused this huge crash. And as it was happening, I was just like, oh no. <laughs> doesn't cause a scene. But yeah, very good customer service here. We had a slight issue with the flush on the toilet. Um, so we've got a nice, nice new room. The next morning, it's time for our adventure to commence. We quickly stop for a delicious breakfast at the hotel. Then it's time to get back on the road. From Arusha, it's around a two hour drive to the hot springs. In the distance, we can see a looming mountain. This is our very first sighting of Kilimanjaro, the tallest mountain on the continent. We're extremely lucky that we even glimpse the summit, which is often hidden behind clouds. We continue our drive, passing through a couple of quaint villages before we finally arrive. Wow. I'm immediately blown away by the vibrant colour of the water. There's no time to waste, it's time to get in. The first thing I notice is that the water isn't quite what I'd call hot. It's pleasant, definitely not cold, but not boiling as the name would suggest. Chemka means boiling in Swahili. Swimming in this crystal clear lagoon immediately makes me feel at peace. But I'm keen to see more of the hot springs, and so I start to make my way down a narrow channel. I honestly feel like I'm in the heart of a jungle. Notice the little lump on my forehead? Yeah, that's where the coat hanger hit me. The narrow channel suddenly opens up into a huge lagoon. And in the center of it all is something extremely intriguing. Over 10 meters down is an underwater cave which almost looks like an underwater volcano. This is the heart of the hot spring, where warm water bubbles out from under the ground. 
Chemka is a geothermal hot spring, the water originating from Mount Kilimanjaro. We're not alone in this lagoon. Chemka is home to two key species of fish, and I've made it my goal to encounter both of them. The first fish that I run into is the red gara fish, which are known locally as the massage fish. I'll find out why a little later on. The second resident is a lot harder to find. In fact, I thought I hadn't encountered one at all until I watched this footage back and saw that I had in fact swam over one of Chemka's resident catfish. Chemka has been the perfect way to relax after my three week safari in Tanzania. If you're interested in going on a Tanzanian safari, click the link in the video description and pin comment. There you can request a quote from the same companies that I use to organize my safari. Now it's time to head to Chemka Spa. As I sit on the side of the lagoon, the red gara fish nibble the dead skin off my feet. It's a strange, ticklish sensation. Feet now clean, it's time to leave Chemka and journey to our next destination. We venture into the heart of Moshi, a town that rests just below Mount Kilimanjaro. This is where we'll spend our last couple of nights in Tanzania, right here in this relaxing collection of cottages known as Bristol Cottages. We have a nice little area to chill, and then here we are in our room. Here it is, a lovely big double bed, got a TV, air conditioning, and then here we have the bathroom, we have the toilet, the sink, and then we have a shower here. After settling in, we enjoy a wholesome lunch followed by a very special drink. So now we've got some masala chai, which is a traditional Indian drink. And the spice blend for this masala chai was mixed up by the mother of the owner of the place. So I'm really excited to try it. Oh my God, look, the lizards. Oh my God, what are they doing? Maybe they're doing a little mating dance. Oh my goodness. They are so cute. The day ends at Bristol Cottage's on-site restaurant with some wine and a lovely meal. Okay, so our food has arrived and look at this mashed potato. It looks like Kilimanjaro because we're in Moshi right now, which is right below it. And this is the dynamite chicken. It's meant to be quite spicy. After three weeks, our time in Tanzania has come to an end. And what a spectacular three weeks it's been. One of the many highlights of our trip has been the incredible safaris we have been on. And it all started here in one of Tanzania's most underrated national parks. Watch this video next where we explore one of Tanzania's best kept secrets.